Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here on the single player world. I just thought I'd make this kind of the cinematic, cinematic, dramatic intro like this, because why the hell not, you know what else? Found my character staring off into the sun, and the sunrise, the cloud horse up in the sky. Today's gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be a very, very good day. I've actually uh, had a little bit of, as I say in the last episode, a little bit of voice issues, but I think we should be alright for the rest of this episode. Let's hope. Maybe I should not speak and yell and do stuff like that as much, but... Uh, today we are getting started and we're going to be completing quite a lot of this area in here. You can see there's a bit that's been done. You guys didn't see what I did in the last episode. Let me show you very, very quickly. Push this button. And we've got this door. Come back down here, push the button again. Door opens up. We don't lose the pieces. It's great. I'm very, very happy with that. And that's all we really need. There's nothing really much else going on here. So, what I've decided to do is, I've decided to dig out this area here, where we're going to be putting in our own little hobbit passageways in this hobbit hole. And, before I go any further, I know that this is not accurate. I know. Don't worry. It's, uh, it's purely because I'm going to be taking my own creative, uh, creative license, creative liberties here, I guess. Because, uh, there's, there's a lot of things that won't make sense, and I think it's, it's, uh, a matter of us fitting in what we want to do with this place. And, uh, and just going a bit crazy with it. So what I want to do first of all, is I want to test out this idea that I had here. Because originally, you can see I had the brown concrete powder and... Let me just exit through this door. Like that there. Oh man, that's... You know what? Yeah, 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 I've got a better idea. I've got an even better idea. We can just do that. That, get that, get that. And this way here... It should not show those handles. So... Perfect. Wonderful. Uh, and I thought I'd just show you guys this before I go any further, because it's, this is a neat little way of doing things. You know, you don't really think about using spruce doors for decoration besides as a door, really, most of the time. I mean, obviously, I know that uh, a lot of people wish there was spruce trap doors which look like this, which I do too. But sadly, we don't have that just yet, and that, that actually isn't too bad. I quite like that. I think I might do that on either side here. Then, of course, I do want to use this brown concrete powder because it looks very, very good, I think. And I want to also make this floor maybe a little bit more interesting, but down here in particular is a very interesting spot because look at this. We've got all this area here that we've got to hide this in. So I'm, I'm going to get that done. That's not really too much of a problem. The only issue I have is over here, I think. There's some, there's some point where I cut off... I can cut off a bit of uh, redstone, so I'm going to be very, very careful with it. But that's not really too much of an issue. But let me just try this out. Let's try... Uh, there, there, there. I'll just put these here this area. Actually, you know what? I think I've gone past the area that I'm going to have trouble with. So let me do that. Let me do that. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe we could try something out. Just just testing around. Playing around with things. In fact, what could be kind of cool is something similar to us messing around within the last episode. Can I please just... Thank you. Wonderful. Alright. Get some of that there. There. Great. There. Great. There. And there. Wonderful. Uh, so if you guys don't know what this area is, this is, by the way, the Hobbit Hole, because I'm pretty sure most of you guys do know where it, what it is. Hmm, yeah, that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to do something about that. So let me do that, and try out a few more things. Uh, and, but yeah, this Hobbit Hole is gonna be ho holding all of the names of every patron we have over Patreon. So if you guys don't know what Patreon is, link down in the description, go read about all about Patreon on there. But, uh, pretty much we, we might get a little bit of an explanation later on in the day, but currently we are more focused on the building. So I think this could look well, good, if I can maybe get this over here. Let me just check this out. Mm, yeah, still not enough for me. Still not enough. Maybe a bit of that gone, a bit of that. And I could try, maybe I could try some really weird stuff here. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna get a little bit weird with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some really weird things here, and I hope they, hope they're gonna turn out alright. And what I might just do is, I might just get some of these. Put a bit of that in, 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 and maybe try do some weird texture with these. Like this, maybe? I think we need to get rid of that one. Put that one there. That will be way too dark, yeah. This could be kind of cool. I don't know. There's some part of me that kind of doesn't dislike that. Nor absolutely hate it. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take this risk of this actually being a bad idea, and I'm gonna leave it for a little bit. And I'm gonna let it sink in because I I'm not completely convinced that this is a bad idea. Also, I can't remember if I did mention this in the last episode. 
Uh, but many people have asked me, why doesn't the mycelium go over the grass? And as far as I'm aware, it shouldn't take over grass. Uh, as lo it only should compete for dirt. But what I'm going to do, just to test... Oh, wait, this is already next to it. So, yeah, that proves my point. Uh, what it does is it does. It competes for dirt. So I'll show you what I do. I'll put a dirt block down here. Put one dirt block down here. Keep an eye on that for the rest of the episode. I'll put a, a grass block down... Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. I could take, I could take a glass, a grass block. There we go. We'll put a grass block down right next to it over here, and we'll see which one ends up getting taken over. I'm pretty sure that that one should go. That one should stay the same. But we'll test it out by the end of the episode, and, and that's pretty much going to explain the question that many people have had. So the rest of this, of course, will be done eventually. But I've decided, you know what? I'm going to focus on the inside. I focus a lot on the outside area that I well hope. Hoping to do a lot on the outside area, but I haven't been able to do it all. In fact, I'm actually a little bit behind on this tree. I've still got to do a bit of work on that tree. Fix this area up now that we're putting stuff we're putting stuff in here. And that look, lagged out quite a bit. Look at this. There's like a little bit of a spike there as soon as I do it. It must be calculating lights down the bottom there. So the next thing I want to do is this area over here. And le let me just kind of give you a bit of background on what I'm thinking this area has to be. And why I think it's important. Because this is very important in terms of the building and how I've been building recently. So coming down here, I could very easy just uh, just put in these along the sides here, along the sides here. I don't even need this thing here. Let me just pretend that wasn't there. That's that's the way 99% of the time, your mind goes straight to that. You want this and it's gonna split off into these passageways on either side. Fairly, fairly simple stuff. And I think that's the problem. It's a bit too simple. And what I like to do recently, and I've thought, I've, well, it's been a lot more in my brain about like this sort of thing is, Breaking up the areas so that it's not these aren't these well, there aren't these very large areas because it's very important to kind of get the eye to like distract itself from one direction to the other and look this way have an, its own thing going on have its own thing going on whereas if this was a big open area there's going to be a lot of distracting points here so you're not going to turn your camera and face that way you're not going to turn your camera and face that way you're going to have to choose a direction it just kind of seems like a bit pointless to me and it separates the areas very well when you start doing stuff like this. A good example is actually in our snow village, uh, which I've been asked about recently. What are we doing in the snow village? Are we returning to the snow village? Yes, we are. I decided to take a bit of a break. I mentioned it a, a bit before and I wasn't intending on it being this long, but I wanted to just kind of step away from the snow village for a little bit because it was, we were doing a lot of work there and it was just becoming monotonous in videos. So I want to break up my videos a bit. We've got a few big projects all over the place. And I think it's very important to make sure we're not stuck on one area, doing all in one thing. In fact, this area over here has been a, a very big uh, area for me. So, oh, I've just uh, tabbed out of there. Don't worry. Do not worry. I'm back. So the snow village, here we go. And this, you may wonder uh, what I'm coming here for. And that's to show you this pillar here. So what I'm trying to display in that area, well, what I was trying to tell you guys is having a pillar in the middle is super important because if I didn't, we would have this big, open, boring area and you've got to take in all these different things. But now, for instance, you've got areas to focus on. You can focus on one area, focus on another area. And it kind of breaks up the whole feel of the room. It lets the room flow a little bit more. Uh, but I, I think that works a little bit better, in my opinion, of course. So I'm going to go ahead. I've, uh, I've explained to you guys much of what I want to do here. And I don't want to take too much longer on that. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to make this area look very, very good. I hope. And I'll be right back. Time has passed, quite a bit of time in fact, and let me quickly update you guys on the most important part of this episode, of course. My ceiling block, the grass block. Grass block still stands, my ceiling block, well I mean this was dirt, it's now my ceiling. You guys kind of get the, get the idea, so if anyone was wondering, that is, I'm pretty sure, conclusive enough. Um, yeah, grass doesn't get taken over by my ceiling, only dirt does, so if you want a grass to spread, the problem comes when you want the grass to spread to dirt. I've had that bit of an issue where the grass is spreading to dirt and the mycelium is also spreading to the dirt and you kind of get patches where they compete for the for the dirt and eventually it, it kind of looks actually kind of cool. I reckon if you did a full island of dirt and place a few random mycelium and grass blocks, that would be a really cool thing to watch. I'm getting very good ideas here. Just let me, let me tell you that. That's a very cool idea. So <laughs> I would love to see that time lapse. All right, besides that, let's get into what I've done. So walking in here, let's let's get a little bit of a picture of this, right? So come over here, push this. I'll start that again, please. Come over here, push the button, bam. So smooth. That is actually very fast, that uh, close, but the open takes a little bit longer. Look at that. That's, that's basically the idea of how you get in here. 
I want to put something in this window. I'm not too sure yet because that's blank space. We can maybe look at make it look a little bit interesting. So going in here, look at this. This is what I've done. It's not 100% yet. And in fact, I've just realized what I want to do. I want to do a bit of this. A little bit of these things around the place. And of course, as I say, this is not going to be accurate. You don't expect this to be accurate because this is just my way of doing things in here. And of course, we, we do things our own way. You know, this is not going to be all uh, all completely a, uh, a copy of the, uh, well, of Bag End, of course, in, in The Hobbit. So let's continue on. This area here, the Hobbit holes, if you guys don't know, Hobbit holes have the tunnel sort of things with the uh, uh, branching off room and stuff like that. My plan is probably not to do any branching off rooms. Maybe one day we can, but uh, I, I don't have any plans for it. And this, as we will grow, because the, I'll explain to you what's going on here, but as we grow, we'll be adding on more rooms, going in that direction, that direction, everywhere. And it's not going to be straight. We're going to start making curves and doing very interesting things with it. But as you can see, we've done a few interesting things around here already. And I want to now get started on putting in the names of the patrons who have supported us on Patreon. So if you guys are ever interested in joining our Patreon server, I'll quickly, while I'm busy here, I might as well uh, let you guys who might not know about it uh, in on it. I swear I have some... Okay, I've apparently I've lost some of my spruce wood. Uh, but what I was saying is pretty much if you guys ever want to have a look at our Patreon server, we've currently got a server set up, completely vanilla Minecraft. Uh, and we've got a pretty cool community going on on that server. A few community builds have actually happened. Very, very interesting ones. Uh, we'll leave it at that. It's very, very interesting uh, builds going on there. And a very, very cool bunch of people. So if you guys ever want to join us, very simple. Look in the description of the, of the video and you should find it pretty easily. So right now, this is actually quite a cool coincidence. Uh, there are seven by seven blocks here, which is the number I was going for. And currently we have 14 people to add into our mini little hobbit hole of a patron. But before I do this, I want to quickly explain to you guys what I'm going to do here and why I'm changing it up, sort of, and it's maybe not 100% going to be uh, a, a thing that fits in with this world. Kind of, but do not worry. I'm going to make this real. So, first of all, we're going to be using a command. And yes, cheats are enabled in this world. I don't use them unless we have to. In this sort of situation, it helps. Besides, if any, any, ever anyone tells you cheats don't work, they can just click on here and they can make cheats work. So do not worry, guys. What we are doing is we're going to be using a cheat in the right way. So let's go and press this here. I've got this set up quite nicely. Nice and fresh for us. And what we are doing, look down here where my mouse is. We've got give Jancy, that's me, Minecraft skull 1-3, who knows what that means, uh, to skull owner, well, of skull owner Jancy. So this over here is going to give me my skull. So my player head is going to come into my inventory when I press enter now. So let's take that, all right? That is the command we are using. And I will show you how we're going to warrant this command in this world. Because really, I don't like using commands in the world. I think it's, it takes away from the vanilla feel. But in this respect, I think it's a very cool way of doing it. And I think it just adds to this room. Because originally what I wanted to do was I wanted to add a sign. And uh, I thought a sign would be kind of, whoa, look how freaky, you can see my face like, whoa, whoa. Uh, I thought a sign would look kind of boring and just not as interesting. So I thought, you know what, let's go for a, a skull. A skull would be pretty cool. And the other idea I had was putting skulls on the wall. And that just looks a bit weird and freaky to me. So what I decided to do, what I have decided already, let me get rid of these. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab this out here. And I want to name tag these skulls. So if we go here, we go which quite conveniently is set up. Jancy, we just do that. I've got 50 levels, it's fine. We do this, and then when we put this in here, we can see who is who. It kind of looks a bit smaller than I would have hoped, but that's all right. So we're gonna go ahead and add everyone in on here. And by the way, this anvil I've taken in, can I just quickly take a moment to uh, show you guys how impressive this anvil is? This one has been in that snow village since the beginning. I've done more than, well more than 10 enchantments on this, and it still is not broken. It, it's it's a very, very good quality anvil. Let me tell you that. All right, I need to get rid of this head because I don't really have any need for it. Maybe I can get myself a... Okay, maybe if I find... Ha, ha, ha. I've got a plan. Let me tell you my plan. So I want to get rid of this head because, of course, I don't want my own player head. And I'm going to be adding in the heads of our patrons right now. So let's go... Goodbye. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take 
a few minutes, quickly go through and add all the patrons in here, and then we will be right back. And that was a few more than a few minutes. I've had to go and get another one of those because, of course, that didn't work very, very well. So I've gone ahead, I've added in all of the heads that we need for now, and we're going to place them in our place in order. So right now, this is actually the longest running patron that I've had. This is Scott Williams, who has been around for, man, ages. So thank you very much, by the way, to everybody on this list and everybody on these walls. I appreciate it very, very much, and it's really, really awesome to have everybody having a good time on the server. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add on the, oh, wait, I've done that. There we go. Ultimate Tracer, right around there. Then MS, then Alex, then OH Sterling, Gamer Drippy, Cat Booper, which might I add, has got one of the coolest skins uh, that I've seen in a very, very long time. I love, I love cat skin. Then Lady, then, oh, almost, uh, almost had to clear out my inventory, Rocky, and we'll just do this in order as well. Now, uh, Chanding, I'm not 100% certain whether or not that is meant to be your skin. I apologize, but I couldn't find it when I searched it up. Twixstar Turtle, Queen, Captain Salsa Man, Isaac, and of course, now I've got to put on the next one because actually, I have, I've actually got them here. I, um, I counted this before we actually had our most recent patron join us and say welcome to a crazy squid 1000 who's going to sit right around here until we expand this room over that way over there so before i go anywhere guys thank you so very very much for all your support and for all being really really cool and if uh and not to mention anybody who's watching who's not a patron i much appreciate your guys support in the comments in the videos in the streams it is also very very much appreciated nothing taken away from you guys just thank you very much to everybody for being here. But now we've got we've got a bit of work to do because I uh, I've counted fourteen, so I've got to go back to where I've got these diamonds from because I've got a little bit of a, a sacrifice that I think we have to make in honor of the Cloud Horse, of course. Uh, we have to do this, and I think I'm gonna have to destroy my beacon very very quickly because the amount of the amount of diamond blocks that I'm about to sacrifice for these heads is gonna be insane. I'm back. I've got 15 blocks and I think we can go ahead and sacrifice these. And the, the reason I want to sacrifice these is to make payment for using the command for the head blocks. Not only that, I think it's a, a worthwhile trade, a diamond block for one of those heads. And quickly, before anyone asks, uh, we are not going to be using these heads throughout the world. And I appreciate the suggestions, but I will not be using these heads to build things. So if you guys are, are about to say that, do not worry. We will be, not be using them. And uh, if you've got some cool ideas, I think they are really cool ideas, most probably. Uh, but we're not going to be using these for decorating. We're purely going to be using these for our patron heads. So let's go ahead and do each and every one of these diamond blocks. Let's say goodbye to these guys. So 15 diamond blocks. Man, that's a lot of, that's a lot of money. <laughs> but I think it's a good trade. I, uh, I do think it's a very, very good trade. I think it makes each one of those heads... They're a little bit more valuable, you know, just uh, just uh, another sacrifice to the Cloud Horse and the patrons, of course. And the reason I want to do it in this lava, by the way, I think we can do something pretty cool. And I thought, you know, Mount Doom, obviously my first thought, I thought that would be super, super cool. But that will be something I want to do in the future, because right now I have done a lot of terraforming. We still have a bunch more terraforming to do. So I, I think Mount Doom will be a very, very long way away. But that'll be so good to sacrifice those diamond blocks. Kind of like the ring uh, to Mount Doom. That'll be pretty, pretty cool. So, right here, look at this. This looks pretty weird. I think I've shown you guys this before. The, the grass sticking through because it's so neon green. Just looks really weird. So, there we go. Let's get out of here. And before we finish this off, let's go check it out. Let's just have one last final peek at what this looks like. So, coming in here, remember what I said in the beginning. We want this to break up the room. I think it does that job very very well and i didn't even mention actually by the way guys i've, I've put in these weird arches and that breaks up the roof a bit because the roofs tend to be very flat i don't know if you guys have ever had this trouble in houses your roofs look very flat of course it's easy make a ceiling that looks very very obviously easy and it it is but now you can go ahead and give this a try archways little blocks going off there in fact uh that's an archway that's why it looks a little bit funny but if i wanted this to be the ending of a roof i could put in another one of these slabs over here i don't have any on me if you put another one of those slabs there, that'll be a perfect finish there. Then, of course, I've done these pieces at the bottom here. 
something a little bit different, I guess. It's not really your uh, your standard sort of thing, but I think it works quite well. Let me do something like that. Do something over here like this. Okay, maybe we'll just leave it to the leave it to the, the top. All right, there we go. Just things like that, looking very very good. So as I say, guys, thank you very much to all of the patrons. I know I have just tabbed out. Why do I do this every single time? I tab out of my uh, recording. I've done it. Whenever I've done it, I've done it in, in twos. So let's hope this is just a pair and we're not going to be doing this three times in a row. Uh, but for today, guys, I think that will do our episode. Let's close this up, finish it all off, and say thank you yet again, everybody, for being here. Everybody for having a good time on the server. And as I say, if you guys do want to join, have a look, look at the link in the description right below the video right now. Uh, but for today, guys, that will do it. And thank you very, very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.